Day 11, making and shipping boards. I don't know how much longer I can do this. I got lost in a mountain of boxes. Look at all these boards. We got more boxes. Jenny keeps taking all of the boards off the inventory rack. As soon as I put boards on the rack, they're immediately gone. Lasers have been working overtime. I'm trying to build boards as fast as I can. This is the longest shipping label sash we've ever made. I feel like small business royalty. You look like you're wrapped in toilet paper. That was fun. We are in the absolute thick of the 2022 holiday season. And if you know, our goal for this whole season has been to accept and deliver every order that comes our way by Christmas. And it's looking pretty bleak. We haven't missed an order. We haven't missed a shipment yet, but it just, uh, we're just in the middle of it right now. A couple weeks ago, I made 100 cutting boards. Those are all gone because Jenny tried to get ahead, which is good. It's just, we're wiped out of inventory. I also made 100 charcuterie boards and that's really helped, but we're still just running out of boards left and right. And so this week I am doubling what I made last time. This is the remnants of 250 boards in one batch. It's crazy, crazy amounts of wood. Now this week I have to make 250 cutting boards and I'm just running out of steam. We've been working so hard for several weeks in a row and we're just starting to lose a little bit of steam and motivation. It's hard to keep up the fast and intense work pace that we started with.
but I'm just gonna have to suck it up and uh, keep going because this is my part of the business. Jenny did her job. She did all the hard work of making the sales. Now it's my turn to hold up my end of the bargain. But fortunately, I only have a couple more weeks that I have to keep this pace up and then I can get way ahead. And thankfully, Jenny and the rest of the team have been making sure that all I have to focus on are these boards. They're taking care of everything else and that's really nice. But that doesn't mean that this batch of boards has been without hiccups. This cart is buckling because I put too much weight on it. I thought it would be okay, but it's not. So we got to unload it before it buckles. All right, I think we're out of danger. That was scary. See the leg is like buckling. Man, that was scary. That's exactly what happened to this guy over here. Except this one broke. This one buckled too. You can see it's bent the same way. Oh man, that was scary. Thanks for helping. You're welcome. Yeah, I was just pushing the scrap bin back over and I saw that it was like about to tip and I yelled for Jenny to help. And she came to my rescue. Yes, I'm your Princess Charming. My hero. Oh, geez. Oh yeah, see this one's starting to bow a little bit too. Not near as bad because the cherry's not as heavy, but yeah, I guess I should pay closer attention to how much weight is on these carts. Because there's a weight limit of like 400 pounds, so. Well, I thought we were out of the woods, but this cherry one started buckling even more. Man, I really overloaded these things. And we have a pretty intense timeline. We have to get all of our Christmas orders mailed out in the next six days. That means they have to be built, engraved, packaged, notes written, and shipped. And we're about halfway done right now. All of these and these back here will be in the mail by the end of the day today. And then we have to do it all over again for the same amount of boards, just for other companies. It's a lot. And thankfully, we've had help. There's another couple we know who owns their own small business and they were willing to come in and help us with some of the building and definitely a lot of the fulfillment, which has been fantastic. Our friend Alex here is scraping all the glue off. Say hi, Alex. Hello. So he's doing all that, making him do all the hard work. And then uh, his wife, Summer, say hi, Summer. Hello. Summer's helping us fulfill. Summer has a cool cookie business, so she gets it. She understands small business life. Yes. Quick, life. plug plug your business. Salty Bee Cookie Co. Find me on Instagram. <laughs> there you go. Link in the thing. Um, and then Jenny's over here hard at work finishing boards. Hi. Oh, Bruce is contributing a whole lot. Aren't you, buddy? Moral support. Look at him. Oh, yeah. Those are the good scratches, huh? But even with the extra hands, it is so much work. Every step Davis runs behind, that pushes us even further behind. It's like a chain reaction, but I'm literally taking the boards out of his hands after the sander's done and putting them right into the Glowforge. Also, amidst all this chaos, I just hit my goal for 100,000 in sales for the year, which is super exciting. We did it! Did what? We hit 100,000! Congratulations! Year. <laughs> Congratulations! Thank you! We doubled what we did last year! Good job. Did I get you? You did. You got me. <laughs> Your cheeks I walked in, I walked in here and I saw this pointer right in my face and I thought, oh no! <laughs> what have we done? I set this goal for myself in early July, but by the time September rolled around, I was so sure that I wasn't gonna be able to hit it. I had put a lot of time and energy into trying to train salespeople, and I just didn't think I was gonna have the time at the end of the year to actually hit 100,000. But I persevered, I doubled down on what worked, and we did it. $100,000 in just cutting boards. I can't believe we did it either. I know you guys are so sick of seeing cutting boards, but there is big money in them. I mean, what? No, there is not. Yeah, stop making cutting boards, guys. They're no good. They're terrible.
to leave for a few days at the end of this week. The Air Force hit us with some mandatory training days before the end of the year, and now I've got to leave Davis all alone to deal with the rest of this. Sorry. We're working really hard to make sure we get done on time. And I don't think we should forget, we asked for this. We yeah, asked to be this busy. We prayed so hard that this would happen, and it's finally happening. We are so happy and so joyful to have this opportunity and we're learning so much and we're getting to do it with people that we love. And that's the fun part. We even get to share it with 100,000 of our closest friends, you guys. We're so happy to show you guys this whole journey. And I really need to keep that perspective in mind as we do the final push through this 2022 holiday season. Anyway, back to it. Stick to the bed.